Hello and welcome to the Tankspot Icecon Citadel Raid Guide. My name is Elena and in this video I'll cover everything you need to know about the Heroic Mode 10 min version of the Professor Putrid side encounter. I will assume that you're familiar with the normal version of this encounter. If you're not, I suggest first watching our guide to the 10 min normal mode to learn about Putricide's base abilities. If you'd like more information or would like to learn more about downloading this movie, click more info on the movie information box on YouTube to head directly to Tankspot. Also be sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button to the right so you will be automatically notified as we release movies. Compared to 10 million health in normal mode, Putricide sports almost 14 million in his heroic version. Naturally he also hits harder. Basically, everything inflicts significantly higher damage than before. That includes slime puddles, the gaseous bloat and volatile ooze adhesive debuffs, choking gas and choking gas explosions, and malleable goo, which inflicts even double of what it does in normal mode. Too long, didn't listen version, don't get hit by stuff. We use a setup of two tanks, one of which controls the abomination in the first two phases, two healers and six DPS. Since our warlock was dead for most of the encounter anyway, it's definitely doable to do this fight with three healers and five DPS and still beat the enrage timer of 10 minutes should your healers have any trouble. There are also a couple actual mechanic changes you're faced with. For one, Putricide won't stun the raid with tear gas on his face changes anymore, but instead he'll release both a volatile ooze and a gas cloud at the same time on both face changes. Outside of face changes, he'll spawn oozes alternately one by one. Both ad types have about 70k more health than their normal version counterparts and obviously still have the highest kill priority. To make sure we kill both oozes during the phase change and without losing any players, we stack up on the volatile ooze side of the room and focus it down as soon as it spawns while having everyone that is not followed by the gas cloud stack up on it, so no one takes lethal damage in case the green ooze doesn't die before it reaches its target. Meanwhile, the person chosen by the gas cloud kites it as best as they can, and if consistently slowed by the person controlling the abomination, it should not reach its target. Abilities and chants and items such as Body and Soul, Swiftness Pots, Tuska's Vitality Boot and Chant, and other movement speed enhancements are useful for this part of the encounter. The other new mechanic is a debuff called Unbound Plague Putricide will toss out at least once every face on a random player. This can target melee, so be forewarned. When you get a cast on you, it has a 1 minute timer, but Unbound Plague will inflict increasing damage every second that it remains on you. So after about 12 seconds, you have no choice but to pass it off to another player, which you do by moving close to the rate member you want to pass it off to. Their plague will start with as many seconds as you had left on the disease, so if you pass it off after 12 seconds, they'll start with 48 seconds left, and if they pass it off after another 12 seconds, the next person will start with 36 seconds left, and so on until it runs out. Once passed off, you get another minute long debuff called Plague Sickness that increases damage from Unbound Plague by 250%, so it's crucial to not tag the same player twice with the same plague. Players with Plague Sickness are easily visible by the green disease aura that surrounds them. Having a pre-assigned chain for Unbound Plague is useful, but since your raid is consistently spread out and on the move, you may have to change the order on the spot, so make sure to have good vent communication so people are aware that the order has changed. If you're a current Plague Carrier, make sure not to get close to other players unless you're attempting to pass it off. Everything else in the encounter stays the same, so if you're able to handle the double slime attacks on the face changes and the disease cycle on top of Putricide's normal abilities, you should be able to beat this encounter. Good luck!
Thank you for watching this movie. As always, feel free to ask questions or add suggestions either on YouTube or in the strategy thread on tankspot.com. Also, Tankspot donors can download all of these movies in high definition directly from our servers. So if you'd like to learn more about that, just click the second link in the movie information box.